Okay. I apologize, stream, for the whatever technical mishaps, but here we have top eight. Whoa. <laughs> Minus one winner's match of ST. Don't but look at the camera. Here please. we go. Kion, are you are you shot? Okay. All right. Okay. Here we have Kion mode versus Timo. Give me a sec. Can you hear shit? Uh, let's see. I gotta add this camera in here. Okay. I can't believe this right, is good working. Good one by Timo. I can't believe this is working. Don't look at the camera. Yo, don't look whatever, at the yo. Camera. Don't be robbing the stream monsters. Let's get some ST in there. You can't do capture. We'll do the ghetto camera trick. Let's see. It's uh, a key on mode. K1. Yes. It's zero zero. Ah, uh, that one doesn't work here. You can take this one if you want to get on. It's good. All right, and it's 1-0 Timo. Timo, if you don't know, currently has the Mind Stone for the Battle of the Stones. He is your Canada Cup Marvel Infinite Champion, but here he is playing a real man's game called Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo with Ryu. He's up against Keon Mode, New Blood, Toronto, going for Chun Li. A bit of corner rush. Trying to keep Timo cornered in. Timo backing out. Very nice on the super, avoiding it. Nice throw. Okay. Oh, very nice to yeah. throw again by Keon Mode. And this matchup certainly can be hard for Chun if Ryu gets his fireball pressure going. Mm -hmm. All right, fireball up close to your face. All right, a little bit of uh, really nice, moment. really nice positioning from mm -hmm. Timo right now. A bit of a poke game going on. Nothing but back and forth. Keon keeping his distance. All right, very nice counter throw. Keon cornered though. Oh my goodness. Oh. Very oh. nice clutch by wow. Timo. Wow. Is Timo a lord? Just don't, he has a Mind Stone, therefore he's a Lord. Very nice Shoryu yep. on, on the jump in. Cross up to the basic combo. Very nice, uh, I like how Kion does the short to fierce combo. Kimo bursts yep. in the meter and then Kion getting a little impatient with the jump in. Yep. I'm expected Shoryu, it is 2-0, Timo. Certainly, Timo applying a lot of that pressure that can make this matchup pretty tough for Chun. Yes, sir. Timo used to play a, a, a lot of Vega back then. This time, he's using Ryu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Did not tick, uh, tech throw out. Now he's cornered. Nice shore you can. All right, nice uh, cross up the throw. All right. And Kion Mo just eating a lot of those jump ins. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's kind of hard for Chun to have, especially in this matchup, an anti-air that can, uh, you know, just just beat out Ryu like that. Ryu certainly has the, the upper hand on anti-airs in, yes. in this matchup. Very nice throw in Timo. Fireball, uh, no fireball war, but he's pressuring him away. Nice sweep, sweep to fireball. Sure, you can from the yeah. jump in. Fireball pressure. Yep, and that positioning right there is what makes it so hard for Chun to really gain an advantage in this in this right, matchup. This is match point for Timo to do this, kid. Jumping, nice throw. 
Fireball, Shoryuken, Punish Jump in. Fireball pressure. Nice jump in. Nice throw, but did not tech. Oh. Neck breaker sought the fireball. And oh. Keon mode again with the tick throw pressure. It is 2 1. That neck breaker is really, that can be really tough to, uh, to kind of guess which way Chun is going to land. Mm -hmm. Nice show you can. Sweep get out. Sweep pressure. Whipping sure use. Hopefully bait out the crouch uh, roundhouse. Oh. Burns the meter. A little too late on the shore you. Oh, very nice target combo. Do I predict another jump? Do I predict another throw. Oh, oh fireball. Wow. Caught with the fireball. Right. right. Fireball to kind of position out the situation. Kiana having always having a down back ready for the fireball. Simo responds with his fireball pressure. Nice sure you can on the jump in. Cross up oh. into throw. All right, the Mike Watson combo. And it is match point for Timo again. Let's see if Kion Mo can turn this around. I think anything is possible in ST. Yes, sir. This is a very brutalizing game. Approach forward to the fireball pressure as always. Tick throw, but he is not teching out. Nice reversal wake up Shory. Very nice in the target combo, but does hurricane kick. Uh, Burns the meter through the fireball. Sure, you can. Oh, very nice. And it very is 3-1. Nice. 3-1, nice. one, Timo. One All right, we're trying to get the next match in the wrap. Where is the bracket here? We are, we are looking for Golden Experience versus Capconian. 3-1. And what was the uh, score between Climax and Weird Looking Hippo? Uh, we haven't played yet. You, you have not played yet? Nope. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. We're, yeah, we have other people conflicted in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, so we were trying to get that under wrap too. Up next, we can do Climax versus Weird Looking Hippo in winners, or Golden Experience versus Capconian in losers. Is it still working? Good. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to retape this thing in. A little bit of back in the day technology, a little bit of technical difficulties with the Frame Meister. So we're going to use webcam for all the people that are watching this right now. I apologize for not reading the stream chat. I don't have access to the stream chat. Up next, we have a match. Losers bracket match. Right, let's get this on the road. I'm golden experience. I don't know who is who. Someone please get on the mic. Weird looking hippo is on the mic. I don't know who's who, so, so I don't know. We have Capconian playing Guile, that's okay. his main character. And then Golden Experience, of course, with E Honda. So I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I am guessing that this matchup is not in E Honda's favor. 
Um, pretty much any character with a fireball is going to give E Honda a run for his money, and especially a character like Guile, who can pretty much put up an impenetrable wall. Uh, and the Sonic Booms are just, you know, they're, they're pretty good uh, projectiles in this game. Certainly makes it a little difficult for E Honda to get in and cause some damage. All right, it is 1-0 Capconian. Golden Experience trying to get in through this Guile turtling. I'd say this is an, I would say that this is an even match. Very nice with the hand pressure, but responding back with the flash kick. Oh man, Just trying to get in. Hand pressure. Very oh. nice with the super. Capconian, I'm willing to bet it was trying to counter challenge yep. that super with his own super. I yep, I bet. The balls on that. All right, Sonic booms. Normals get out. Very nice throw. Very nice anti air there. Capconian. Very nice trip pressure there. It, it, all right. Round goes to Capconi. Right, Sonic Boom. Got to play turtling on this one. The rule is do not jump in on Honda, but some people do anyway. But Capconian seems to be getting away with these jumps. Oh, yes. Oh. And there it is. I think it's uh, what we just saw in that last round is not only match unfam unfamiliarity, sorry to say that, but maybe impatience. Honda is trying to jump in yep. while Guile already has anti airs ready. It's 2-0 uh, Capconian. Nice. Alre already it looks like Capconian is really controlling this match. Yes. Golden Experience is just... Wow. He's an angry... He's, come on. And just as I say that, look what happens. That's yep. ST for you. One mistake can cost you everything. Hands pressure. Like sonic Boom pressure. Jump to the air to air. Wow. Pony oh. is just tr a lot of trades here. There's uh, too many unnecessary trades that were going in Golden Experience's favor. Golden Experience putting a, a point on the board here. Let's see if Capconian can pull this around, make it 3 1. It's one, yeah, it's one. Uh... All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's 2 1 Capconian in the Golden Experience. Let's see if we can see more trades. The trades are going into Golden Experience's favor, so I can understand the risk versus reward, the impatience paying off. Yep. This one, it did not pay off in this round, and it is match point for Capconian. Hand slap pressure, but he always has a flash kick ready. We'll have very nice on the Sobat to beat the hands. Sonic boom the knockdown. Yeah, I, I think I would personally like to see a little bit more patience out of, out of Golden Experience. I mean, that's kind of... The way that Honda usually has to run most of his matchups is very, very patient. Yep. You know, playing it patient. And it looks like Capconian takes that. Yep, Capconian takes that. And up next is the winner's bracket match between Climax and Weird Looking Hippo. Yep, so, that's me. All right. Let's go. find out what's going on. We have other people in other games. KS Tali and Timo are both gonna face each other in the loser's bracket, but they are both in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I, I can't see the stream chat. It's okay. Oh. 
How many viewers? 17 viewers. Shout out to all 17 viewers cool. watching. ST at Rumble in the Tundra. This is Psycho Chronic, aka Psycho Rarity, on the mic. But all the cameras are focused on the game because of the frame restoration we had, so it's okay. Best stream ever. Yep. Yeah, it's not bad. This yeah. is good. Because when in doubt, there's always a plan B, C, and Z, just in case. I think um, Weird Looking Hippo is looking for his matchup. I think he's looking for uh, Climax right now. Climax is... I know he's in other games, so yeah. Yeah, there will be a, a bit of delay. Do you guys have a bracket over there? Yeah. Uh, the There's a lot of noise going on. Yeah. They're doing the Tekken Decathlon tournament right now. Oh, that's what that is. Yep. Yeah. Every Tekken game from one to current is being played in this mystery game format type. Wicked. Something I have never so seen. Far. Rumble in the Tundra. Yeah, yeah. So Climax is uh, going to be a minute for his match with uh, Weird Looking Hippo. But so far, this has been running really good. Oh, sorry. All right, we're going to put up a little bit of a bracket of what's going on. So I'm still in winners. We've got... The only guys left in winners are me, Climax, and really Hippo. So yeah. I, I play winner of that. Mm -hmm. Gonna be crazy. Right. I understand. There's a bit of delays. Yep, can't help it. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties. We had to run a little bit late here. But it's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening. I wonder what game Climax is in. I guess Marvel, right? They're doing Marvel and Tekken Decathlon and Samurai Showdown 5 Special right now. He probably plays Marvel, so... Yeah, yeah most likely Marvel. This is a nice venue, eh? Yeah. A little bit of an a little bit of a office area in, in in like a little industrial part. I'm gonna need some like coffee for the uh, ride back tonight, man. Yeah, I'm down to get some. Co Yo, they had some nice strong coffee here earlier today. I know, I know. But I wasn't. I didn't need to drive then. Yeah, we'll get some coffee on the way back. And this is your bracket for Rumble in the Tundra for. The Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Wicked. Jet 07 is waiting in winner's finals up here. <coughs> I'm just waiting for... Uh, oh, Callie and Timo have to fight. Oh, those yeah, guys a little are bit horrible. of a team kill right there, but, you know. Yes, they yes. had... Yeah, yeah, they had... Uh, Tally and Timo yes. had to fight each other. Top 16 winners in Marvel. A uh, little bit of an upset... KS Tally defeated Ray Ray, and Ray Ray was so <laughs> salty that he forfeited Street Fighter V. So, yeah, uh, I Tally I it was Marvel. in Marvel. Yeah, but Ray Ray forfeited Street Fighter V. Oh, both Does, games? No, not both games. Oh, but yep, it's okay. Yeah, there was some. Uh, there was a high amount of sodium chloride among some. Several from different players this tournament. All right. Up, okay. Good. We have Climax right now apologizing. It's happening. All right, let's do this. So Climax will be on player two side. 
I believe. Yep, Climax is on player two side. And, he... and they both use M. Bison, Boxer. Yep, all right, this is a Boxer Boxer mirror match, meaning anything can go. It can go on up. either way. Yep. The, the, the most person with the most. Patience. Uh, not patience, but aggressiveness. We need aggressiveness in this. Uh, it depends. Oh, burns the meter this fast. Hi. Who's first player again? Uh, we're looking Hippo. All right. That's a good one for round one of Hippo. So he takes the first round. All right. Retreated to a boxer, boxer. Burns the super meter. Ooh, tries to go for the, for the grab. Buffalo head butt. Punched right out. They're doing the buffalo head button. Buffalo, yo. Yep, that's it. Yes, that's how we go. That's how they do it up here. Right. Both oh, men nice using combo. the taps. Nice reversal headbutt. Crouch short. Oh. Nice headbutt to beat the uh, jump in. Dash unders. Another dash, um, crouch short. dash under to dash super. upper. And it is round one weird looking hippo. Good. I know there's hardly any commentary, but it's okay because you're watching some good level ST action here at Rumble of the Tundra. Really, Hippo's on a rampage. He's yes, on a sir. rampage oh, he is. right now. Oh, goes for the grab, misses it. He gets headbutted for his problems, trying to do a little dash up. Here. Gets out of there. Turbo's oh. the, uh, the little jab. It's a super. Oh my goodness! Nice jab into tick throw pressure. Oh, no, gets tick no. throw back in return. Oh, nice Very nice crouch strong to beat it. Oh, I knew he was going to throw gonna... you. Oh, oh my god, he does it back to him. He does it back to him. I'm throwing. Climax, I thought he would do the super, and it is 2-0. Weird looking hippo. All right. There's no space on 07 oh, seven yet. Oh, one word, thank you. All right. Climax has got a good one, you know. At Brett Chronic. Yeah, Jed does not have a Twitter. He's got to make something happen here because it's not looking good. Very nice. We didn't have charge for anything. We got crossed up. Weird looking hippo. It's a match point for him. Yes, sir. He's looking good. And that was a very nice dash upper on the start of the round. I thought he couldn't do that. I thought he said he could only do it, do it like one out of five times. So I'm doing it all. Oh. That's a, maybe he meant that on fight, Cade. Nice headbutt. <coughs> oh, whiffs a button, got too anxious and got supered for his troubles. You know what? I, I'm beginning to wonder if we, we haven't uh, switched the names around here. You sure? Weird looking hippo is winning. I don't know. Are you? I don't know. I have a sudden feeling. I think I I'm think sure Max is second sure player. All right, it's two hey, one. Climax, which color are you? Oh, All right, we were right the whole time. We were right, we the, were whole right the whole time. Okay, so All right. He's come back with a victory. Here says two one. You know? I guess he's tired. Everyone's it's tired. Been, it's been a long tournament. Can't hear me? Oh, my mic has gone down. Oh, that's what's going on. Sorry, yeah. guys, if you couldn't hear me. 
Sorry about that. Oh, oh my goodness, a perfect one. I wasn't looking. Ooh. Things are heating up. All right, very nice dash straight to start off the round. Another dash straight at level three tap, level one tap, dash under. My goodness. But crush the jab. Burns the meter for that chip damage. Burns the meter. Reciprocates the. the we actions. burn our meters here in Buffalo. Screw it. Very nice. Oh, nice sweep. Very Ooh. nice crouch forward. It is 2 2. He is coming back. We're looking hippo. He's got to pull something out of a, a hat here, otherwise. He's got to regain his momentum. Nah. Nah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here with that. See, Don't casual. be booty sweat, Don't be like man. Use a real character. Use a real struck. character. No pockets. Like He's got no pockets. Very nice dash straight to start off the round again. Very nice spacing to whip out a headbutt and get ticked thrown. Oh, gotta stop with those headbutts, man. Dash under. Level 6 TAP. And then super. Headbutt. Oh, but it gets crouched forwarded. Perfect. And that is a counter perfect from the last match. Match point, match for, point weird for a hippo. weird looking hippo. All right, level two tap, to dash under, to dash upper. Nice level three tap, another level one tap. Nice level two tap. Nice super, nice super. Nice super to juggle out. He's gonna do a super, he's gonna burn, oh! Bursts it out. Very nice close match. Weird looking hippo and climax. All right. That yes it was. All right. I'd like to run losers match. Draconian versus weird looking. I mean Capconian. Weird looking hippo. Capconian. Capconian. Weird looking hippo. Hold on, hold on. Capconian. He's right over there. Capconian. Capconian. He's coming. He's coming. Yep. All right, all right, we got you, we got you. You gotta face each other in this game. All righty. You're facing weird looking hippo. Yes, weird looking hippo won that game. Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, yo, 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 get off, get off. My bad, my bad. Climax! 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 Sorry, it's you, it's you. That, that, that made no sense, because he's losers. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little bit of a brain fart going on. I am Psychochronic, what's good? And we are here, Rumble in the Tundra, settling top five in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm Jed, I'm Scummy. All right, and up next is uh, an Quilet. immediate losers matches. Well, an immediate losers match between Climax and Capconian. Some Quile versus Rog action. Oh my goodness! Very nice You're super not through the to Sonic shoot fireballs boom. here. Not with that super. Actually, I've been noticing that Capconian's been holding it down with his defense with Guile. So it's like, well, Climax has to play aggressive on this part. So he better. Yep. Oh, oh. Nice flash kick. Oh, that was a throw attempt. All right, very nice dash upper. Super. No. Oh, very nice block throw. under throw. And then gets hit with the same thing last time. Sonic yeah, no boom choice. Through, so, super through the Sonic Yeah, yeah he couldn't get away from that. He didn't have the health yeah. anyway. He was dead. One dead. zero. Oh, switching over to Chun-Li. All right, I respect that. I respect oh, that. I don't blame him for one second. Screw that match up. Mike Boone for spawning. I don't know why. Nice level one tap. You dash under. Jump in. But gets tick thrown. Tick thrown again. Tick oh. thrown again. That's three. Super. Oh, tries it again, but gets supered out. Very nice awareness from Climax. Very nice Buffalo head, but through the fireball. 
jab, jab to dash pressure. Oh my Super. god. Through fireball, what is it, the fourth time now? Yep, that's the four, that's the Kino eye, if you remember that from Street Fighter 4. Oh my goodness. Climax is now out for blood. Barlog wins. Capconian kind of having to formulate a little last minute audible. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna choose Guile? Oh, yep, he's, he, he's Guile till the end. Stick to your main. We're really hearing hippo, um, calls out an Akuma. Yeah, we're hearing Everyone an Akuma pick, finger. and like we're wishing Unessential was here so he could pick Akuma. All right, let's get it. Show on the road. Ooh, two I opening taps, but opens up really. Oh my God, the pressure! Nice flash kick. No, also, that's not even remotely a safe jump. Bursts out. No. Nope. Match point. Match point climax. Very fast here. Very nice tap. Very nice trade with the dash under. And the sonic boom. Headbutt out. Tap immediate. Very nice combo. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, just finish him. My goodness. That's it. He's like, I'm, I'm coming out of losers. I'm, I'm, I'm going yep. for that, that grand finals. All right, up next, we need KS Tali versus Senor Timo, but KS Tali is currently in Marvel. So we're stalled out of time. So we're kind of, we might as well do winner's yeah, finals right me, now. Yeah. All right, Jet 07 versus Weird Looking Hippo. Winners finals. Normally we just claw through losers, but people are in different games, so time is of the essence. I'm Psycho Chronic, I'm just chilling. I didn't need to enter this tournament, it's okay. Alright, Jed07 on the right versus Weird Looking Hippo on the left. Winners finals. Head stomp. All right, he has a charge. What's he gonna do? Okay, scissor kick. Devil's reverse. Beat the dash. Oh my God! Not not a touch of death. Not even stunned. All right, dash pressure. Dash pressure again. To, to throw. Very nice jump attack on. Beat the cycle pressure. And the crouch strong. All right, scissor kick. Oh, headbutt to beat. Nice reversal to beat tick throw is temp. Now, you're, oh, he's gonna get tick throw. He's just gonna burst it. Just burst your, burst your super. No, okay, he doesn't need to. One O oh, hippo. Right. All right, nice headbutt to open the round. Oh, misses the touch of death combo. Oh, does not get sick thrown. Just throw, all right. Right, super, but gets thrown out. All right, on Jed. Headbutt to pressure. Nice throw. Using normals to kind of, you know, get out of the situation. Got to reformulate himself out. 
Nice super, but it gets beat by the jump roundhouse. Super is out through. Juggle jump strong. And gets thrown. 1-1. One, one. Right, Devil's reverse trades with the trades with the normal. Right, scissor kick pressure. Devil's reverse again. Devil head stomp. All right. Dash on the dash upper. Oh my God! Baits it out. Frame traps. Does the sweep, but still has the charge. And responded back with super to beat the normal. Cycle pressure to start the round. Headstone. Devil's reverse. Sweep. Fake headstone. Alright, uses super to burst out the meter. Crouch into the scissor kick. 2 1, Jet 07. Hippo is formulating a plan. All right, let's get this show on the road. Winners finals, y'all. Very nice combo by the Hippo. Dash under, dash under. Headbutt, reversal headbutt. Level one tap. Oh, a very nice hitbox on the on the fear on the fierce. And stunned for his trouble. Misses the roundhouse after the three short. It beats it out with a juggle with a jump strong. Almost from from the stand position. Scissor kick to start off the round. Cross up. No touch of death. Cycle pressure to get out. Sweep. Devil's reverse. Another devil's reverse. Jump roundhouse. Head stomp. To the follow up. Into the super. Throw pressure. Into the crouch light. Kid. All right. Up next is losers bracket. KS Tali versus Timo. Find KS Tali and Timo right now. They are holding up this bracket. I guess Tali's still in Marvel. If he still is, well, we got no other matches to run. So, yep. So, KS Tali and Timo, the winner of that faces Climax. After that's Hippo. So, we got two boxers and losers. And assuming uh, we have Tali and Timo, they will both use Ryu. Unless Timo is going to use Claw. So we're just ready to see that get under wrap. Yup, yeah, yeah. He, Tali's on stream playing Marvel. Can't do anything about it. Gotta wait. Sorry. That's, we're just chilling. <laughs> Walk 360. Good. All right, we're, we're already, is he still playing Marvel? Yeah, 
Natalia and Team are going to be playing soon in Marvel, so we're going to have to wait for them. Yep. Um, this, is the, this is what's holding us out. Yeah. As you see on your screen. And then we'll grab Climax to play the winner of that. And then... We're looking at opposing losers finals. It's not listed here, but... Natalia and Team yeah. are in Marvel. So they're going to play shortly their games, and then they're going to come play. Get on the mic. Yeah, you get on the mic. Oh, okay, there we go. So I've got Weird Looking Hippo with me, Jet 07. How's it going? That, that last game, that, that first game, when you, when you I, I was like, oh shit, it's I, happening. I think that is one of those matchups that I feel like I know what I should be doing. You, you probably saw I was trying to get like some stand, some standing anti-airs and stuff like that, yeah. a couple like crouching fierces, but it's just especially... You know, your dictator is so strong, it's really hard to kind of pinpoint where you're going to drop when you're doing, like, the Devil's Reverse and things like that. So, um, you know, and I, I just haven't played against a lot of good dictators, and yeah. yours is certainly, yeah. you know, it's really, really strong. So, it, you know, it's just one of those it's things. It's not a, a common character you're going to come across. There's a lot of Shoto's, a lot of chun Li's, a lot of Boxers, a lot of even old Sagats, but dictators, they're, they're rare. Even yeah. online, they were rare. I don't recall a lot of dictators. I, I remember playing Riz on GGPO long ago. I remember him pulling out that old old dictator nonsense with the uh, that, that old dictator devil reverse nonsense. He actually did it to me again in Canada. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember this shit. <laughs> I'm still do dying to it. Shit. Yeah, good times, good times. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. They got to play, I know. Is, is Climax done everything? Oh, what's he in? Oh, well, whatever. Well, we'll, 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 you know, take it in stride as we go along. Yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah. Some, yeah. So, some solid play this time around. Um, there's some good players here, man. Like, like you know, as, as scenes go, there's some solid um, competition here. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, um, you know, I try to bring my board out whenever I can. Um, you know, even if we're running like a small tournament. Um, just a week ago, we ran, you know, kind of like a, a lower end, uh, small tournament, and you know, I made uh, ST a free game, just you know, to try to get some people interested. And, and we actually did have a few people who I had never seen play the game mm -hmm. before, who came out and signed up. And I mean, that's that's what it's all about, you know. To me, that makes that makes it worth it, you know, worth dragging my. 20 inch pain in the ass CRT around, you know. So. Yeah, I know, I know. The CRT thing is, a, is an issue, I know, believe me. Those things are heavy and they're annoying, but they're so good though. They're so much better than the flat screens. I you, hate flat screens. Yeah, you can't really get much better. And especially now, um, uh, I don't know if you people at home can see, but we're running, it's a head to head setup on two CRT monitors. So. And we've got the camera pointed at the one, the one uh, monitor, so that's right. the best we can do for today, that's, unfortunately, but that's it's, the best it's happening. We can do. But so yeah, it gives you kind of the feeling of playing on like a real Japanese versus cab, um, but you're still playing on two CRT monitors. But I mean, the game looks great. Um, even on two, when you split the signal, I didn't have any issues. And you know, I think everybody is really getting a kick out of, out of playing it that way, so you know. So we got um, a lot of Canadians in the top eight, now that I, you know, that I think about it. We've got me, we've got um, Tally, Timo. Wait, that's, yeah, and Keon. That's four. That's four in the top eight. Yeah. Keon is a Toronto player that started playing around last year, uh, playing, um, entering our, our weeklies. He's, he's really uh, improved a lot. A lot of the players in Toronto have improved a lot. It's been great. Ever since Atari came over and started um, um, running shit, man, it's been great, man. Like, a lot of players have gotten better. The SDS series he ran last year, uh, was um, well, earlier this year rather in, uh, in February was awesome that that ranking battle leading up to it really brought all the best in um, the other two uh, top three players in Toronto um, Dogberry and uh, Oz they really stepped up and I, I was winning everything in 2016 and then when the uh, ranking battle started I, I it, it was not the same deal I was I was hard pressed to stay alive in, right. in, in, in any bracket and and uh 
it, 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 uh, it really brought out the best of them. And, and I, I believe um, Oz, um, Oz's team won that, um, that, that, that tournament. I believe it was him. Oz, Psychochronic, and David Spence, who won that team tournament. Oh, okay. Psychochronic wow. himself winning, winning the, the wild card um, single um, uh, player tournament. He beat Oz and um, David Spence. And then, they, and then the three of them formed the, uh, the wild card team. It was a wicked tournament, man. That was awesome. And especially Oz. Um, I've played his boxer before. Very strong player. Oh, man. Um, I, I, I can barely beat that guy now. <laughs> he won't admit it, but Jesus, it's hard to beat him. His, yeah. his, between, between his DJ and his boxer, it's, it's rough. He, yeah, he must be very humble or something because he, he had, he, told, he, had he, uh, he had informed me. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I played against you online and I, I was having some trouble, you know, against your boxer with my DJ. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that ever happened. I think he was just, you know. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, so um, Chai Ch really um, eliminated, him in, el eliminated him in the um, the top 24 of, of uh, Canada Cup. I yep. was surprised when I heard that, but. Chai really has got a solid Chun Li. He's got some excellent fundamentals. That he, is, he makes oh full, full use of a Chun Li speed and then walk up throw range. And that is one of those. I, I, honestly, I mean, a lot of people say, "Oh, you play boxer. You know, boxer is cheap. Boxer is top tier." And I mean, all those things are kind of true. But that is, for me at least, I think that is his worst matchup. Maybe besides Zangief. And really, yeah, really, no. I, it, because Chun. She builds her super meter mm -hmm. so quickly with her Kokokins in the corner. And Boxer, the best Boxer can hope for is, at least that I've seen other players do, is to kind of corner themselves and then get short rushes out to build meter. But even in doing that, it's, you're vulnerable, you're yeah. vulnerable yeah. to coming into her space. And as long as she is building meter and kind of setting everything up, I mean, it's very, very hard. And then, I mean, you can jump in, but then you're kind of in her space. It's not like yeah. getting a jump against Ryu or something. Yeah, yeah. Chun Li is a different story entirely. She's got all kinds of nonsense to stop you. Yep. Uh, it's not, it's not foolproof. And of course, she's also got lightning legs, but she's going to be buffering uh, while she's shooting out those Kokokans. So you, you, yep. you might find yourself jumping into a, a world of pain. Yep. Unless you walk right up and then jump right over them, but if you start doing that, she's gonna say, "Oh, okay, he's she, he's gonna walk over." And then, you know, I'll walk, I'll step forward and low forward, low roundhouse. You know, the fun begins. And yeah, it's it's definitely an, an, an you have to know how to play the match well if you're a, a boxer. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna fall down. Yeah, and then once you fall down, she starts her neck breaker nonsense. I, I mean that that tends to be when boxer loses. Uh, you know, pretty much that's what most people say. Like in the Matchup against Zangief. Mm -hmm. um, once Zangief gets a knockdown, it's pretty oh, much yeah. over. You're in for it's some pain. Much over. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man. Go, go for it. Knock yourself out. Yeah, so, um, yeah, shout outs to Mega Man, by the way, from, I think he's from Chicago. Uh, Mega Man X? Yeah. I He said he was from New no, York. No, wait, he's, he's, he's a, a cross buddy, aren't they from the same place, those two guys? Um,. I, was it Maryland or something like that, or Virginia? I just played him actually just the other night at Fightcade, uh -huh. and uh, that was definitely one of those one of those instances where he won a lot, um, uh -huh. a lot of knockdowns. But he told me that I think he's from the New York area. Oh. I, I told him that I was interested in coming to Next Level and training with like oh. Josh and, and yeah, you Ridgemon should, and you, you should, you should be that effort, man. Those guys can teach you a lot. Yeah. They're good. So I think we're doing. I couldn't even touch those guys again when they came this, down this year. I, I mean, I, there were so many, so many great players at Canada Cup, but it, especially when Dam Dai comes with um, his team, you know, it's always, you know, Riz and Josh. I mean, it's, it's very hard to not imagining those guys at least not coming in like top eight or top 12. Yeah, definitely. You know. Definitely. Um, just so strong. And then, of course, also those guys have, um, I think, Tech, Tech Monkey, Technical Monkey. They who's have Technical like Monkey, yes. One He's of the best chuns around to train with. So, I mean, they have just so many good players in there. They have EMP house. Hero, don't they? EMP Hero. He's another good Chun-Li. Is he from that area? Or, I don't know. Isn't he from New York? 
He, he was in New York when I went for too old in um, okay. August. Okay. I don't know if he's from New York. I'm, I'm guessing he is. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually closer to where Canada Cup was happening than I am to New York. I'm about five, five and a half hours from Brooklyn where they okay. have next. I mean, otherwise, I'd be going up there probably once a month if I could. Yeah, but yeah, I, it's a long drive. That's a long drive. That's the kind of drive you'll have to book a, hotel, a motel overnight because that's a yep. long drive. I've only got like two hours now. That's not bad. I can do that. Just give me like a tr like a, a large double double and I'm 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Canada Cup. It was about three hours and some change. So not. Okay, good. Yeah, not. Um, I mean, for one of the pretty much the biggest. North American Super Turbo Tournament, three hours away. It's not too bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's not bad. Mm. We're still waiting on Timo and Tally, KS Tally. Yep. Timo, Senor Timo from Waterloo, Ontario. A lot of uh, good players have um, come out of um, Waterloo. Um, KS Tally, I think, is from Toronto, originally from Toronto. He's put a part of the 50-50 uh, the crew there. Oh, okay. I, 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 th I think he is. I don't know what the KS is, but I, I'm, I'm assuming he's affiliated with those guys, with um, Drew Face and them guys, the 50-50 group. Um, okay. Group. I, I, can tell, I, I, I can tell that um, Drew Face has trained uh, KS Tally. I, I, I can just tell. A chip off the old block, man, so to speak. The, the way they, they, they both DP and, um, and they, they play very similar. But Drew Face is more of a rushdown guy, whereas Tally is like trying to figure. What, he's more, you know, like how do I describe it? He's sort of like um, methodical in the way he tries to figure out what, what he, what, how to get in. Which that that is the scariest thing, fighting a Ryu who knows exactly what he is doing. Yes. And yes. is kind of like reading your mind and yes. and yes. playing those mind games because just such a strong character. Oh yeah. And uh, they know how to DP um, um, normals off the ground. Like like they use it as a uh, footsie game, and that that's always just disconcerting. Like like when when I don't know, there, when when you see that your opponent is able to DP your your jump ins is one thing, but when they when they start doing it against your like your pokes, oh boy. Yeah, it, it's demoralizing, you know. You gotta be careful. You know, just you have to second guess every time you attack, which you shouldn't be doing. But you know, eventually this starts to happen, and um, it can make fight, f facing a Shoto very, very difficult. Shout outs yeah. to Dogberry. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, Jab DP, freaking Ken's <laughs> <laughs> beach bum character. Yeah, um, I believe it was Dogberry, right, that I had to face in Canada Cup. Uh, the team's tournament. Yeah, I think. It, if you got a lot of knee bashing, that's that's Dogberry. And he'll do it. He'll he'll. He, the the thing was, I I feel like I mean right now I'm trying to learn new Ken myself because um, I, I I just think that Ken is a badass character, especially seeing you know Matt Sun play and uh, yeah, definitely. I've been looking at you know Anakin online and I mean those guys are just such monster players and Ken is such a cool looking uh, character in the game, but. I, I think when I played against Dogberry, I mean, I don't even remember a whole lot of knee bashing. It's just his, he had his fundamentals down, and I think I, I just wasn't ready for a lot of it. Yeah. Um, especially, you know, boxer. You know, he knows how to keep a boxer Ken. out. Yeah, I mean, that I'd rather face a Ryu any day of the week, no matter how strong, versus yeah, Ken, he, yeah. because, I, I mean... Boxer is easy to safe jump, and he's susceptible to a lot of his own uh, nonsense, you know, getting grabbed and stuff like that. I mean, you can. Yeah, definitely, you, definitely. You, know, you can just grab him all day, and there's nothing he can do. So. Yeah, it's. Uh, and you know what? It, it's not easy to, to play a good Shoto. I, I can't DP to save my life. No, me, me neither. I'm a charge scrub, I admit it. Yeah. I've always wanted to, to dabble in those characters, but I can never really seriously do it. But like, you know, not, not, not in serious play. I'm, uh, I, I have. Hopefully, they won't be too much longer, Tally and Timo. Yeah. So we can get this show on the road because it is getting late. It's getting, like, getting to like, it's almost 9.40. It's 9.40 wow. right now. Yeah. And I do have a drive I got to do. Yep. Yeah, us, us as well. Ours isn't as bad as yours, but we're about Are you going home tonight? Yeah, we're we're about an hour. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. It's so not, not too bad. It, it, yeah, it's not too bad. 
Um, I think Tally might be about to play. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, hopefully so. Yeah, but you know, I've I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of players online on Fightcade who, I mean, maybe it's just because you know they're they're kind of old school, um, and they've just dabbled in a lot of different characters like you yourself have. Mm -hmm. um, but there are people who you know they play they play boxer or they play dictator, but then they also play like a really good Ryu. Yeah. And I kind yeah. of thought, well, if they can you know learn the motions, maybe I can too. Yeah. It's just, it's rough playing a charge character for even a year and then being like, yeah, I'm going to learn how to yeah, dragon yeah. punch. Yeah, yeah. No, not. I've always had that ability to, use, to do the special moves, but not consistently. Not Not when you need them. Like, yeah. like instead of getting Mexican, the Mexican uppercut, yeah. the actually pulling off the dragon punch, you yeah. know, and, and being able to reverse yeah. a lot of grabs and stuff. Oh, wait, I think we've got okay. Tally here. So we've got Tally and Timo, supposedly. I think, is Timo there? I guess that's, that's Timo over there. Yeah, I think it's Timo. I guess this is happening. Yeah, it's Ryu versus, it's Ryu, versus Ryu, so it's happening. And um, I, I believe Alex Valle himself actually said that this is the best mirror matchup in the game. And I, I'm kind of inclined to agree. Uh, it's certainly a lot of fun to watch. I, I'm not sure which color is who. Um. Okay, so I think orange is... Yes, I think it's Tally. I think orange is Tally. Yep. And, and blue is Timo. So player one is Timo, and then, yep. So Timo is taking that first round convincingly. Oh my goodness. Yep. Seems like, yeah, you're not doing strong, that. Strong anti right there. Wow. Yeah, it looks like both these players have some of their fundamentals down for sure. Yeah. Really good anti-airs. They have to because, like, I mean, DPing in Super Turbo is not the same as DPing in a modern um, Capcom game. It's no. hard. So not if they can do it in this game, they, they, they're, they're, they're legit. Yep. Especially if you can do it on reaction, kind of, yeah. you know, that damn die style of play, then for sure you, uh, you know what you're doing. So Waterloo versus Toronto here. Oh, he oh. saw that coming. He was like, yeah. Oh. Wow, so that was a whiff DP, and then he still got the roundhouse out of that. That was nice. Ooh, nice overhead. Tally takes um, game one. Making good use of that overhead today. Yep. Every Ryu player that I've seen, I believe almost every one of them, making good use of that. And I, I thought the... Uh I like the super as, you know, as chip damage, as a little bit of pressure. That's the yeah. one interesting thing with Ryu is you can play him in a few different styles. And there are some people who use it just to punish, you know, they just punish with super. And then there are other people who use it for pressure. Yeah. And I, I think that's really interesting. Oh, unfortunately, there's a glitch in this game where if you hit, if a, if a Shoto, if Ryu, new Ryu hits another Shoto, I think an even or an odd amount of times, and they and they hit them with a super, they don't, they won't get all the hits in, depending on, on how many times they've hit them in the match, in the, in the round already. That's why he didn't get the whole super there. It's a weird glitch in this game. Not a safe jump. That wow. was a cross-up, though. Senior Timo on point with those DPs today. Ooh, the double DP strategy not working out for, for Tally. Oh, that was a super oh, attempt. Wow, wow. And the second second wow. time's a charm for, for Timo. So he's evened it out here. 1-1. One, one. It's 
So Tally's broken out the, uh, I think this is the championship um, alternate Ryu colors. Yep. It's like the Alex Valle color. Yeah. And then you have the uh, the other one that a lot of people use is the uh, paper ba paper bag Ryu, or the uh, some people I heard they call it the fail the Kuma Ryu. It's if oh, you press start button. yeah the start yeah, button yeah that's what I use I press start for all my colors yeah. So I think I get like the uh, the the pink T Hawk, the yellow Ken. So yeah, both players kind of feeling each other out. Oh, okay. Oh wow, my goodness, three roundhouses in a row. He's gonna get dizzy soon. Strong punish there. Oh. Wow. Ooh, Mexican uppercut. Mexican finish. uppercut. You know, you can just walk walk up close. Standing um, uh, fierce is a good anti or too for a shoto. Oh, okay. Yep. Now, I wonder, in this particular situation, if let's say one of them switched to old Ryu, would you consider that a counter pick? Uh, I, you know what? I'm not knowledgeable enough about the, the um, Shotos to, to really say, but I, I don't know. I mean, like, may, maybe. Yeah. But, I mean, you have to know how to use all his how, all the um, all of his nonsense, all the, yeah, all, <laughs> all the tools and everything. Not just the um, the the unblockable tattoo, but I mean, like you know, yeah. This is a different character. Wow. And of course, I mean the unblockable with the older version of Ryu. I mean, it, it is hard, you know, hard to pull off. It works a lot better against larger characters, but his normals are are extremely good. Fireball, extremely good. Mm. Wow, a lot of throwing this round. Oh, and Timo with the jumping. Oh, uh, that might have been a punish if you fireballed. There we go. So let's see if T Timo can tie this up 2 2. Kind of looks like he's trying to buffer super there. Oh, oh, oh wow. Shenanigans. Wow. Oh, he hit him um, the wrong number of times, so he doesn't get the, uh, oh, fierce DP. See, now, I always believed that it was more of a positioning thing, like if. No, no, no. I, I don't know if it's, just, I, I know for Sagat it is, I, I think, but for Shoto, it's like some kind of glitch where if you hit them some, like an, either an, an e, even or odd number of times, will determine whether or not you get all the hits in the Shinko Hadouken. Okay, uh, and here we go. Look at that old Ryu. Does more damage, I think, and fat faster fireball. And the, and he has a he has a nice jab DP as well. Yep. Um, the one thing about old Ryu, a lot of people talk about the unblockables, but I think one of the best things about the old Shotos is the fact that the Dragon Punch is invincible all the Ooh, way. The damage up. he's doing right now. And it looks like it's match point KS Tally. Now, that kind of fussy play is the hardest thing to do. To hit that roundhouse the moment they press a button, it's very hard. Wow, on point with his DPs. I have to say, it, it can be one of the most nerve-wracking things sometimes when a character will just stand in neutral. Yeah. You kind of don't really know what you should do next, you know? Oh, we could've jumped over that. Oh. Match point for both. Match point. Here we go. Making good use of the Tatsu to get around.
to sort of bamboozle your opponent with uh, air tats is a very effective tactic, especially with um, Ken. Oh, we get to throw in. Oh, wow. It's almost like he was waiting for that. Sinratimo with super. Let's see what it does with it. If he does anything at all with it. Ten seconds left. Yep. Wow. So I, I, believe, I believe that was supposed to be super. Oh, wow. Very close. Overview pays off for KS Tally. Let's see what, what we got next here. I believe we need Climax. Yeah, Climax is sitting down. So we've got, yeah, Climax versus KS Tally right off the bat. Okay. Neil Russell um, getting hype over at, I think that's Tekken. Russell is always hype. Yeah, he's a, he's a hype machine. He's very powerful. He's setting that machine, so we're gonna get Boxer versus Ryu. Now let's see how Tally does against uh, Climax's Boxer. So I have to say, um, this is actually probably one of my favorite matchups as a Boxer player. It's definitely winnable for Ryu. Ryu can really gain an advantage over Boxer depending on the situation, but it is, it's very easy for Boxer to punish things like fireballs, um, you know, his rush in the super shenanigans. I mean, as you can see right here, Climax just laying in. Yeah. Ooh, that's right in the super. No, you can't do that right off the bat. Yeah, be quick with the, the, the punish on the head bite. Oh, very, gutsy. Very, gutsy. I, I like that. Now, of course, yup. Super. Whenever Boxer is resting on Super, it's a good it can chance be, it it'll can come be, out. Yup, it really tough. Climax's cheerleading squad is um, in full force. Yep. Enjoying themselves. Going back to the new Ryu. Oh, opening standing yeah. fierce. Oh, Half his life gone that. to the dizzy. Oh, but oh, he screws up the combo. Maybe, maybe, may not be a deal breaker, but he does have super now. Okay, let's see if Tally can turn this around. But again, of course, Boxer sitting on super. You have to watch out with those fireballs. Uh, and there it is. <laughs> Climax getting lots of super finishes today. Yeah. Comes with the character, but he's getting lots of them. Oh, turn punch. Oi, oi. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. Oh, wow. Forehead combo. Here we go. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh no, this could be disastrous. Don't drop it. And he doesn't choke. He almost chokes everybody. He, yeah, he takes the round. Very nice combo there. That's a hard cut. That's not an easy combo to do. No, not at all. Oh. <laughs> this is the cheap stuff, folks. Okay. Again, Climax sitting on Super. And there we are. Oh, man. It's game two. And, you know, I have to say that that was a pretty convincing round from KS Tally, but still, I mean, Boxer is just... If you're not used to him, it's, it's hard. It's, a it's hard. Yeah, this is a tough matchup. This is just a tough matchup. Ryu being one of the, the, uh, the best um, non-top-tier characters to... Um, but one of the best you can get, you know, you can choose to handle this, um, um, handle, sorry. Uh, it's 2-0, 2-0 for a Climax. Yeah, out of all the non-top tier characters, we're using the best position to handle Boxer, if you know what to do. Right. This is match point for Climax. Yeah. Okay. It's probably a better figure thing out here because oh, oh. you can't just DP out of nowhere, man. Okay, I like that pressure. Yeah, you got to use low, low, low forward and low um, roundhouse more. There we go. Use the, use the fireball. Okay, now 
personally. Okay, here we go. I Yeah, I, I want to see KS Tally play it a little more defensive because you, you absolutely have to against Boxer. There we go. I like the sweep. Headbutt, as I predicted. I, There's another one. Oh, oh. My God. wow. And it looks like I'm up. All right, good Yay. luck. Yay, the mirror again. The run back. Let's see who wins this time. Yeah. Run back city, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jet07 from Toronto, Canada, here in Buffalo at Rumble in the Tundra. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, 18 man bracket. We're in top eight now. I believe we only have. Three players left now. This is losers finals, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed losers finals. Sorry? Yeah, this is this is okay. Yeah, you guys can see here. Climax is truly squad getting into position here for the oi 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 on those on those um grabs. Yes, we do. We 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 want to hear that. We definitely want to hear that shit. Let's get hyped, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, John. <laughs> okay, so weird looking hippo versus climax again. Losers finals. Boxer mirror. Climax is the green wife Peter Boxer. That music is up. That sound is up as it should be whenever Super Turbo is being played. All right, we're in Mexico. Opening head by Climax, anticipating a rushdown. Oh, that tap pays dividends. He's already at half health. Uh, burns the super meter. Burns the super meter right back. This is the replay of the first game. Hey, hey, hey. Gets the hey, grab hey. again. Very effective. Hey. Oh, nice, nice. Rush the headbutt. Oh my goodness. Tries to go for the grab attempt. Oh! He gets countered. Oh my goodness, doesn't mash hard enough. Gets about four or five hits on that, that grab attempt. Oh, the shit talking is starting. The counter cheering. Oh, taps in. Oh, burns a super, gets punched for his troubles. Oh, supers. Oh, tries to grab, says no. Oh, my goodness. Weird looking hippo stays alive and takes game one. That was a rough match. Or a rough um, game of that match. Shh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, good times. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, stays in the defensive oh, error, but mistimes that tap. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey. Burns. Hey, bro. Oh, gets his super in the front. That's, that's like three, four times in a row. He lands that headbutt. Where looking Hippo wants to go on the offensive, but he can't. Can't get the combo in, but it doesn't matter. 
Burns super. Oh. So cheap. So cheap. Burns the super. Tries to go in for the rush to the grab, but Hippo's waiting for him. Oh my goodness, gotta be more patient. Burns the super. Burns the super. Oh Mistimes that. It's gonna cost him. Or maybe not. Well, times the tap well. That's two games for really good hippo. This is not looking good. These games are getting these games are close. <laughs> it did indeed. It did indeed. We were looking hippo was looking looking strong right off the bat in, in the last the last bracket match. Now I've got key on mode sitting beside me. Alright, salt go. No more salt. Lift up the mic a little bit so you can. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! Oh, hey, 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 hey! I see two O. Super burn! Oh, he can just two O for this point, but unfortunately gets a knockdown. No, oh my no, goodness, no. the damage! Go, he's he's getting. Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, yo, he's getting impatient. He had a huge life advantage. Don't fucking go in. Oh. Wait. Yeah, you gotta lift it up higher. Lift the whole thing up higher. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Yay. All right, so oh, oh nice initiative. grab. That, that, that could be, that could be attempt. it. Oh, no. God. The oh, max points for real against Hippo. This is, this, is, this mirror is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why is this, why is this playing out? All right, Hippo's already trying to get pressure, but Climax, they're saying no, sending him into the corner. Man, it's just so back and forth. I can feel um, really good Hippo's um, confidence right now. I yeah. Feel, oh. Uh, looks like he was trying to look for a, for a jump. Climax has got to come back here, eh? Able, able to say like I don't want to move. The shit talking is beginning. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The clock is ticking. Goes for a five tap. Hey, Burns hey, a super. Hey. Oh, it's just not. It's just not for the hell. Oh, oh my no, goodness! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! I'm up, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. What did I just watch? This is this is not video games. This is not this is definitely not video games. I'm having the most bizarre Pepsi I've had in my entire life. It's called salted caramel. And more joining me in. Yo, America's whack. Yo, salted, salted caramel, caramel Pepsi. You, you know what's really whack? The sugar content of American Gatorade. What is it? You know how much sugar is in this Gatorade? Uh, I'm gonna say 60 grams. Almost 60 grams. Re no, no, okay, listen to this. Huh? But why no? Uh, oh, this? Is that, is, who's, who's is that? Is that yours? Is yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a uh, salted caramel Pepsi. It's it's the weirdest fucking thing I've ever had. It's like it's sweet, but it's Pepsi. All right, so we got Jed facing Hippo here. Hippo is Balrog, and Jed is a dictator. Jed already got super. Hippo also has super, but Jed really likes to throw that out. Just looking for any kind of button here. 
Your mic boom fell down again. Let me swap heads up with you. Okay. It keeps moving down. I'll just try to look for that commanding life lead. The Hippo doing a good job on the on the trades. At least he's looking for good pokes for damage. Ooh, jump back to finish off the round. Going into round two here. Wow, second crusher out of nowhere. Okay, he's gonna do it again. The, 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 guy, the guy sees. Yo, throw, throw him in the corner. Why not? Oh, headbutt. Stop. Stop any kind of pressure. And now they jet like that. He's oh. No, what's that? I think that was an STT back. I'm not really sure if that was on purpose, but that looked like a T back. Josh is Josh is being a bully. He's like, yo, I may be from Canada, but I don't have manners. I came here to win. Easy peasy. What was it, 1-1? One, one? No, it was just a bag It was a T-bag. Kion, is it 1-1? One, one? It it's 1-1, like... one, one. it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, already Josh tried to send him in the corner. Life is pretty much tied up. Nice, doubles reverse. Ooh, those pokes! Ooh. The pokes! Dictator is too vicious, man. This stuff just happens to way too quick. Ooh, bicycle kick right at the start of the round. Oh no, the head bunch head against. Okay, throws him, throws him out. Nothing's gonna get started here. Footsies! Footsies! Oh, nice! Oh, Psycho Crusher, all he needs is the one chip. He's gonna throw out the super. Jed 07! 2 1! That, okay, that looked convincing. That looked like, you know, that, that looked like a message. I, yeah, that was crazy. That was, that was crazy. It was crazy. Yo, is he, is he gonna switch? Yeah, is he gonna switch? Is he gonna switch? Is he actually thinking of switching? Nah. Yeah, it's being a troll. It's being a troll. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna switch? No, I'm not. I'm not actually gonna switch. Ooh, nice jump in from Jed. Try to already start off with super insane pressure. Throws him out of the corner just to say, like, I, I don't care. I'll just be in the neutral. I don't need you in this corner. Hippo looking for any kind of opening, but he does have super. Oh, oh, he punishes the Psycho Crusher, but doesn't get the full super. Nice bicycle kick to close it out. That was looking a little, a little tight there, but uh, Jed's like, nah, it was easy. Like, I'll make him think of this one. It's mind games. We had a discussion er earlier, and he's like, oh, you know, it's mind games, yo. But clearly the mind games are coming up. Ooh, nice meetings in the air to air. Straight. I don't know, Jed's gonna just throw him. He just don't start the headbutt shenanigans. Jed, Jed 07. Just won. He just won. It was just, just like that. Just like that. Yes, 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 just like that. Yes. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Hey, there's a camera on me, isn't there? Sup, now nerds? there is. Now hey, there is. Hey, sup, nerds? Hey, I'm a We ghost. watched some good old ST on a, on a, just on a TV on by a camera. Yeah. That was some old school stuff. Jed, have a seat, my bro. I'm a seat, my bro. You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that, right? That was free. 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 That first came out, I was like, eh, let's see what yeah, happens. It's, it's let's just see a little experimentation here, you know. It's scary. But, uh. Uh, hey. Yeah. That's actually really nice looking. Yeah, I saw that post you made. It was really nice. That this looks pretty sick. sick, man. I like this. That looks sick. Wicked. I like it. Yeah, that was, that was free. Did he say this was, this was mine? Yeah, it's yours. Oh, sick. I didn't realize. I think, I think he said for top three, so I mean. Wicked. Yeah, you got one. Yeah, they all got one. The boxers got one, and Jed got one. Beautiful. It's nice. Beautiful swag. All right, we're closing out here, I'm guessing. Yeah, here. I better head back. It's freaking late, man. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, are, you, are you driving up back yeah, right now? Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm at least staying night, so. Yeah. You know what? I forget what the hell, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I've done this before. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. It was free. <laughs> but, you know, you know what? That's not really true. I mean, we looking hippo. He knows the boxer mirror. He, he, yes, again, he does, these he guys does, he don't does. know the yeah. uh, the uh, dictator 
match. I mean, he put, these these guys put up a good fight. Like, I, like, like it wasn't like I had to be like you know careful about how I went about attacking and that's, everything. That's true. That's true. There were a lot of ways that I, remember how I told you. You know how Brett has the bread throw. Yes. Like dictator has like. The dictator throw, the dictator get out of jail free card. I got devil reverse, I got heads. You yeah, never yeah, know yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, you have, you have tons of pressure. You, you can just pressure all day. Well, what, what's happened? What? what? What's going on? What, what's what is going this? On? What's going on? Oh, okay, okay. This casual. is some kind of casual oh, 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 I, I an exhibition. Say, I was going to say, like, yo, like, Russell's just, like, jumped on and he's, like, talking shit. Oh, my like, God. He's using Blanca. My goodness. Of course he's playing. Thank you. Of course he's using Blanca. Like, yeah, let's watch this. Yeah, awesome. yeah, let's grit. Let's throw it on. Let's go. So Neil Russell is a, uh, uh, um, an upstart from Toronto who has uh, played in several of our um, ST tournaments in the past. And using Blanca, he has well, blown he's up already several. Shrugging. He, he has blown up several players. Yes, he has. He's um, blown up me. This guy thinks he's like, yo, I'm the king of the castle. Everyone's free to me. Like Russell is just, it's just he's 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 Russell. He's he's pretty powerful regardless. Oh yeah, he's, he's his fundamentals are great. Yeah, he's, he's a good fighting game player. He's just, he's, oh yeah, he's, he's got the fundamentals down. I think he's about to learn though that this match is not free for for Blanca. He's got to work at it. He's oh, definitely yeah. got to work at this match. Oh for sure. But both oh, got super to go for the grab attempt. Oh, he's oh, the oh my goodness! Oh! Huh? Yeah, probably yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that was a sick jump back at least though. My my loss, but you know still good. Still good. One. Storing out those taps. Blanca does a lot of damage. He's not he's not boxing, but he definitely does a lot of damage. Yeah, especially when he starts getting his his like hop shenanigans in and gets his, his grabs it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, the reaction jump. I love it. No, he's, he's looking he's looking to burn that ball. Oh! Oh! oh the hop oh, to the grab! Oh no! Oh no! Don't you hold back and block! Oh Jesus! No! Don't let him win! Don't let him win! He will hop. I, okay, I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna hear the end of this if he wins. You know that. Oh sorry. my God! No kidding! Like he's gonna. He's gonna just like rail into everyone for the rest of my life. Oh, the tap gets him. He can't get out of that. Oh, we nice. just reached the jump up. Oh, that was a that was a super attempt. I felt it in my bones. Burns the meter. I saw a video from a hippo. A hippo's been Ooh. practicing uh, ways to try to link the super into straights. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're also very confident. It was no, the wrong, wrong color. color. It oh. was the wrong color. No, that's, that's true. But that was that's the color he always uses. This isn't the color he always uses. I think. Uh, I think. Russell's just playing the mind games, of course. That's what he does. It's in your head. So this isn't Guile now. This is Boxer. Boxer is very, very annoying to deal with. And he's got that super, and he's got... A... And he just gets it so quick, and he has so much damage. Oh, my goodness. You can't get away from him. No. That was a very convincing round. I think we're, we're looking at Hippo. May have Neil Russell figured out. I mean, it was already pretty quick. Oh, that tap hurt. Oh, another tap. Oh, good gravy. Half his life is gone. Nice. I know damage scales in this game, but it's pretty demoralizing when you're missing half your life. Oh, yeah. No matter what happens, like, okay, well, you know, I, I need to take one more tap and I die. Like, that, that's, that's pretty much sucks. Super. Ooh, oh, nice oh jump back again. Oh, my goodness. He just jumps back again. Oh, my God. Is that jump back roundhouse? Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. He was looking for a grab. forward. He's so, definitely looking for a grab. Yeah, it's a hard character, man. Trust me. This is not an easy matchup. Russell, it's Boxer. Boxer is always like, you know, Boxer. He does the Boxer thing. He does does it straight. Lose all your health. Are you really? Are Touch you? Me. Are you really lightning? Touch me. Are you really lightning right now? I'm pretty sure you oh, can just, just blow that. Oh, oh, tries to go for the grab. Oh, meaty tap into super. Yeah, Boxer has answers. Oh, that's a nice hand here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, he's looking at the ball. A brush. Oh, just punches him in the face. Oh, the damage. Oh! No, electricity's not gonna stop the super. I can't tell if 
Russell was just mashing buttons or if he was uh, oh. for trying to mash a super. Oh, nice. Nice. Playing the footsies. But these jump shins are, are putting in some work. Oh, he, he's just trying to bait for the super. Oh, it caught that fierce. Oh, nice up ball. Ooh. Gets around. Footsies. Walks right out of grab range. Oldest trick in the book. And low forwards. Nice. Oh, nice hop. Hop that, behind for the there. grab. Nice. All right, Ooh. now. Oh, okay. way too much damage. He Was sees it? stars. That's a game for Neil Russell. Looks like Russell has. Oh, they're only gonna, come on, we're not even gonna have like a first five. So it's two one. I think I, I don't think there's, there's any point in keeping score anymore. This is just a casual, but still. Yeah, I guess. Good times. I guess we only really need to think. Whatever. No, Hippo didn't win three. Well, or three oh Russell. Let's, let's just say it. <laughs> I think. No, he lost the last one. Yeah, yeah Russell won the last one. Don't leave it. Whatever. We'll, we'll just say that, oh, yo, it doesn't matter. Russell's getting bodied anyways. And he just learned that Blanca Super is garbage. I have a feeling he always do that. But that's why he's playing this character. He wants to play, like, the weakest, most annoying character possible. We're going to win with him. But that's what Russell does. Every time. Ooh, nice. Oh! Hop's behind for the grab. The hop is so dirty. Five. Oh, watch your uh, super! Oh, the ball! Oh. Let's do one more. We're gonna do one more. Russell! It's okay. Shit happens. Anything can happen in NSC. That's true. You just don't know. God, I wish I wish Boxer had more than sounds than just rah. Ooh, nice. Oh, the slide. Oh, nice combo. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice, nice It wasn't even a combo. It was, it was just a cross up into like a, a, a combo attempt, but yeah. it still paid dividends. Ooh. See, Russell doesn't know about the fake ball into, into the grab attempt or yeah. fake anything. Oh, my God. Oh, he's just, perfect. He was, just, he was just mashing buttons. He's pressing buttons like, oh, you know, maybe I can press this button. Maybe I can press this button. It wasn't working. Maybe, maybe, maybe Neo Russell should stop mash buttons. Russell, he's he's concentrating on mashing buttons. He's got super. Be careful. He's got he's got to watch out with these straight buttons. He's already got caught by, with it before. Oh, the that damage jump in is dirty. Oh, now he's gonna get headbutt for troubles. Ah, oh. no. We're looking at Hippo. Solid um, victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is General 7 signing out. Good games to everybody. See you later. See you later. This, this Pepsi really is weird. Cross, I can't stop.